Hi my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here again with another makeup look, the one you're seeing right now. I created using the Rimmel Magnify Crimson Edition palette, which I heard is a due for Urban Decay's Cherry palette, which I don't own. So if you want to see my first impression on this palette, continue watching the tutorial. Just wanted to let you guys know beforehand, I have already done my eyebrows, prepped the lid and done my base, like concealer, foundation and all that. So I will be using this Rimmel Magnify, Mag, Magnifies Crimson Edition Eye Contouring Palette. It looks like this. It comes with a brush applicator, which I'm not going to be using. So as far as I have heard that this is a dupe for Urban Decay Cherry palette that they came out with, which I don't own. So I will be using this palette today. So just wanted to, like I have not, this is my first time trying this palette and thinking like, I usually do my eyes first and then my face. I hope that I don't get excess fallout with this palette because usually I do my eye first and then I continue with the rest of my face. Hope for the best, guys. So I'm using this shade from my from my left hand side. I wish like some of the drugstore palettes come up with like name or maybe numbering so it's easier when you're doing a tutorial to rather like pointing or like showing like this shade or, or not it's easy if you can say by okay i'm using number one two or the name of the shade because this palette does not say that so anyways i'm taking this matte shade and applying it as my transition shade so this is my first time using this palette but i heard really good things about this and I don't know what kind of look I will be going for. I'm gonna just take it step by step. And whatever comes to my mind by looking at the shade, I'm gonna create that look. So with my first attempt, I can say one thing. The shades are really pigmented. Colors are look as you, I, oh wow. I'm looking myself, sorry guys, I'm looking myself at the monitor, I just had a glimpse. Oh my lord, it is very pigmented. Nice. Not bad at all. Perfect. I love when a drugstore product works so seamlessly, you don't have to put too much into it. And it's blending like a dream. So I'm going to take the same shade and drag it in my inner corner of the eye. Same with the other side. I have lately starting to do this, like dragging my transition or crease shade all the way to my inner corner. And I like the look it gives me. So far, so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a pencil brush. I will be using this pencil brush that I had for a while. You can use any that you have. And then I'm gonna go ahead with this purpley shade, this one right here, and apply it on my crease. Tap off the excess, and I'm gonna pat the color. So the same shade, I'm gonna drag it. As I'm seeing in my mirror, so far, I haven't got any fallout. And honestly, I don't have issues with palettes having fallout. It's like when it has a lot, especially if you have your base done, it's, it's like you have to clean it up and it's like extra work. I'm gonna go again with my transition shape and go above a bit just to blend it out. I stop. I cannot help my sister at the monitor. I'm liking the color it's showing. 
So I'm going to take again my pencil brush and take that second shade that I took and I'm going to drag it in my inner corner. Guys, if you see me a little tired, I just finished recording a makeup look that I did for my... I created a holiday makeup look, so I'm tired. Like filming back and forth, it does take a toll on you. I'm going to take the same, my second crease shade and drag it all the way in my lash line and just smoke it out. For my lid, I will go ahead with the shade, the shimmery shade right here. Let me show you. So right here. So I will be using this as my lid shade. It's a beautiful color. Tap of the Ipsos. Okay guys, just look at it. This color is so beautiful. So now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I will be taking the shade which I swatched earlier and showed you guys. This one right here. And apply it on the outer V. Let's see how it looks. Like I had no look plan. I'm just taking it and seeing what looks good because I want to use as much shade as possible and I want to see like how each shade combined together performs. I love when a drugstore product being affordable gives the pigment equivalent to a high-end product. Like it makes me really happy. Like, I'm really loving this eye look. I don't know if I told you guys or not, I got mine from Walmart for around $8. Okay, now I'm going to take a clean brush and blend everything together. So in my inner corner, I will be taking the shade right here, this one. So far, I'm liking the way my eye look turned out. And I didn't have to wet my brush and nothing. But then, I'm thinking on a second thought, what I'm going to do, I'm already happy the way my eyelid shade is looking. Like it's so like, looks so like pigmented and everything. But I'm thinking right now, how about I wet my brush? I want to see how intense the shade can be. So I'm going to first take the shade on my brush and then I'm going to wet my brush. This is a little trick I learned because I usually used to wet my brush and then dip in the product but I've seen now like this is another way you can do. Oh my god. Amazing. You see guys? I'm gonna flip, you know, like clean my brush a bit. Yeah, so take the shade again. I want to zoom in my camera and show you I did not get any fallout, so I'm so happy. Like, see, I got no fallout. And look at the color. I didn't, I didn't need too much time to blend in my shades. Like it blended smooth, buttery, amazing. Love it. So I'm not going to add any more shades on my eyelid. I'm going to continue with my eyeliner and everything. So I got this. I don't know if it's going to go with this or not. 
I got this Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Eye Pencil. It's in shade Rusty Terracotta. I'm going to use this in my waterline. If you are looking for a good, like, long-lasting eye pencil from the drugstore, try this line. Like, I have a, swatched it a bit, and I'm going to let it sit for a bit, and then you will see I will try to smudge it. It's not going to go anywhere. So off camera, I'm going to finish the rest of my eye and be right back. So this is my finished eye look. Honestly, loving the palette. Okay, I wanted to show you guys that eye pencil from Maybelline. Look at it. Oh, sorry. I'm swatching it. It hard to just look at that. And I'm going really hard. So, look at that. If you are looking for a long-lasting eye pencil, try the Maybelline one. Those are really good. I like it. So, for my concealer, sorry, for my mascara, I used my L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. I don't own any mascara from Rimmel. Please guys, let me know in the comment section below. Is there any mascara that you tried from Rimmel? It's very good then if I'm going to pick it up on my next time uh, when I go shopping. Uh, so what I was thinking, I was looking at it, I was thinking of, for my, in my inner corner, I was thinking of using this Pixie by Petra Liquid Fairy Lights in Rose Gold. I'm going to see how it looks. Just do a little bit so that my eye, like my inner corner, like brightens a bit more. Love like that. I'm going to take it on a brush and just go ahead a little bit just to make my inner corner pop. I only own this color of liquid eye glitter from uh, Pixie, but honestly, I'm a big fan of the Flower Beauty glitter eyeshadows, those are bomb. Those are like bomb.com and I like those uh, glitter eyeshadows more than my Stila one because Stila ones are, are honestly amazing but if you're getting from the drugstore same uh, what do you call that it performs similar to the high-end ones and but you're not spending a fortune I like to go for that and this one is okay I think these are like for around what fourteen dollars or sixteen, but I like the flower beauty one better. And I wish that flower beauty comes out with more shades. Those are honestly one of the best glitter eyeshadows that I've used. So I'm gonna go ahead with my crease shade, just blend it out a bit. So now, for my blush, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild because I have the Rimmel one too, which I did use in one of my tutorials, which I like. It comes with the highlight contour and a blush shade. So I'm going to try this one. I got this yesterday from Walmart. Guys, it was only 46 cents. It was on clearance. And it was, I think, it's a limited edition in the shade Your... You're dragging me down. Okay, let's see how it works. It is okay. It's not too intense. But hey, for 46 cents, I'm not complaining. So now, on top, I'm going to go ahead with my Rimmel palette. I will be taking my Rimmel uh, Stay Matte Loose, not it's just not a loose powder, it's a face powder in shade Transparent, which is a very nice face powder. And I usually use this to set my under eye and like even to bake. I don't like for some reason, I'm looking myself in the 
monitor, I'm pulling little orange. I don't know. So, I don't know. Let me know, guys, what do you think about my foundation. I'm using my Brimmel mm, Lasting Finish 25-hour breathable foundation. Maybe because it was my summer shade. I don't know, guys. Let me know what do you guys think about my foundation today. So for blush, using from the same palette. I'm just keeping it subtle with my blush since my eye look is very intense. Okay, so now for my highlighter, I have two options. I'm going to see which one, like I might use both. So I have this Red and Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bronze Bar in shade, what shade is this? Let it glow, but it pulls like more golden. It could be like a good bronzer topper, I would say. Uh, let me see. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go with the Physicians Formula this is from the Butter Collection palette. I will be mixing this two highlighter and apply it. These are some intense highlighter. Oh yes, see that? Amazing. This highlighter a little goes a long way. What do you guys think about my highlighter? So for my lips, I'm going to outline my lips with this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in shade Plump Together. Just want to keep with the fall vibe. And now for my lipstick, I will be using from the same brand Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color in shade have a cow i have another color from this line it's in the purple it's a purple shade and honestly this lipstick does not dry your lips out it is very satiny finish as the name claims because i like liquid lipsticks more than the regular lipsticks so i always look for liquid lipstick like feeling like it does not dry my lips, it gives me a smooth finish, it does not show my lines. Like that's why I always look out for these things in my liquid lipsticks. So I do like try a bunch. I always like, most of the time I do try a lot of liquid lipsticks. And this smells really good. No, actually, it smells a little bit chemically. This is a nice fall shade. See it? With one coat. I didn't have to dab again. And I like the... I like the applicator. It gives a perfect line to fill in your color. So this is my finished makeup look that I created using the Rimmel Crimson Edition Magnif Eyes Crimson Edition Palette. I basically used the purple shade. Like, I've used this side of the shades. I have not played around with the browns. But as I can say, like, this palette is amazing. I honestly enjoyed each shade. I didn't have any fallout. It was smooth to blend out. Amazing. So I can't wait to create another look using the brown shades. So this is my finished makeup look that I created using the Rimmel Crimson Edition palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, my first impression on this eyeshadow palette. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye.